Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna run you through some of the things you should know before you start a balloon decorating business. Don't throw all your baskets. <laughs> what is it? Be prepared for copycat businesses. I love being the boss. Too hard, too fast. But then at the same time, it kind of shows in their work. In my other balloon videos, I've spoken about how I started my business and I've spoken about the pros and cons to running a balloon business, but I wanted to give you some specific tips and just like give you an insight to things you should know before you start because it's not all smooth sailing. I'll insert some photos on the screen of some of the different installations that we do. We do everything from small helium bunches up to massive installations from big balloon garlands, using our structures, the flower walls that we have. And we've recently just gotten in a heap of neon signs, which is super exciting. So our business is continuing to expand. Now, when you first start your balloon business, what I would recommend doing is don't go too hard too fast. And what I mean by that is when it comes to the balloon specifically, look at all, you can see here, all of the different balloon colors. That's actually a mess at the moment, so maybe don't look too closely. But we have a lot of different colors, different sizes, all that sort of stuff. When you first start, you don't need to do that. I would start really small. And this was another thing that I wanted to mention is less is more. With our balloon business, we have set prices, we have set lengths, we have set all of this stuff because if you just have a customer come to you with no real guidance, then the process of booking in jobs can take a lot longer. What we like to do is have a website where we have photos of different items that we have or a list of them, send them to our customers. They can then look at that and then can picture how they want their event looking from that instead of their brain going wild of different things. Now this doesn't always work. Sometimes our customers come to us and they may have a photo that they've found from Pinterest or another balloon designer in a different town or state or country even, and that's fine. Just having some sort of guide makes it so much easier when you're booking in a job so you're not spending hours and hours back and forth trying to figure out exactly what they want. If you have it set, then it's much easier to price, it's much easier to book the job in, and you're gonna have an easier customer to deal with. In saying that, something that I did wanna mention is figure out what you're wanting to sell. You don't have to go in and do everything that my business is doing, for instance. So when we first started, we started doing just 2.5 meter garlands. That was all we were really doing. And then we started to grow and grow on that. And now we have a full scale. I think we've got in total maybe probably 12 to 15 different structures that we have available for Hyatt. Probably more than that, actually. Um, so start small. And every time that we started to book stuff out more, that's when we would slowly buy more. So we weren't investing a heap of money at the start. And when I say we, I mean me. I've paid for this entire business by myself. I've had no help. I've had no investment from anyone else. I used my savings to start. And then every time that we made a sale, I would reinvest that into the business to continue growing. Something else I wanted to mention is be prepared for growth. So when I first started, I had no idea how fast we would grow. And what I thought might be a couple of hours on a weekend, maybe, very quickly turned into eight to 10 hour days on Saturdays and sometimes Sundays. On the flip side of that though, obviously the world is going through a very interesting period with COVID-19. When COVID hit my hometown, all of our event decorating jobs canceled. Literally within the space of like 48 hours, my phone continuously went off with people saying, hey, we're really sorry, we're gonna have to cancel, which was perfectly fine. There is nothing that anyone could have done about that. It was the right thing to do and it had to be done. In saying that though, we were able to pivot our business and we started doing helium daily delivery. So what we found was that we were still getting messages from people being like, hey, it's my cousin's birthday. I'm not able to visit them. Are you still doing deliveries? Could you deliver a bunch of them? And we thought, again, we, me, I thought, why don't I have a full scale like e-commerce website where people can go in, they can place an order, they add in their delivery address. There's parameters around that. So it makes it really easy to manage and people could order balloon deliveries. I was like, why don't I have that? Anyway, because of COVID, I had time on my hands, so I decided to create that. And throughout COVID, that's what we did. We did a lot of daily deliveries, which was, to be honest, I cannot believe how fast that took off. Like, I guess because people were sitting at home, they're probably on their phones more, so they saw a lot of our posts and marketing that we were putting out to say that we were doing deliveries. But I think too, because people were at home and they really missed their family and friends and wanted to be able to spoil loved ones if they couldn't go and see them and celebrate milestone birthdays. The other thing you definitely need to think about before you start a balloon business is the pricing. Now the pricing, as I've mentioned in my course, 
quick plug. If you're thinking of starting a balloon business, I created a balloon garland course, but it's not just just balloon garland. It's basically how I run my business and everything I wish I knew before I started my business. I'm going to link it below. It is currently 50% off if you use the code YouTube. It basically covers everything you should know before you start a balloon decorating business from how to market your work for basically zero dollars, the free programs and platforms that I use that have helped me streamline my processes and just make running my business 10 times easier. I'll link it below and you can go and have a look at the course content online and if you want to buy it, perfect. Once you do purchase, you do get access to a private Facebook page where you can post photos, you can ask questions. It's a really supportive group and I would highly recommend joining it if you do purchase the course. So back to pricing. Pricing was one of the hardest things I like I struggled with pricing when I first started because I was like, one, there was no one in my hometown already doing it. So I thought I need to come up with this. I couldn't base our prices off like Melbourne because Melbourne was a massive city and we're a small regional town. And I wanted to make sure it was profitable enough because I wanted my like time and effort to be like, I don't know, I wanted to make money from it. But I also didn't want to have extreme prices where no one would book anything. You have to try and find that happy medium. So I discuss more of this in our course, but this is something you definitely need to think of before you start a balloon decorated business is the prices. Um, you might have goals of what you're wanting to earn each week. I didn't have that in the start because when I first started, I had a full-time job. So the balloon business was my side gig. And now it's crazy because the balloon business is like my primary income. Like I don't work for anyone else but myself now, which is amazing. I love it. Something else I wanted to say is don't throw all your basket. <laughs> what is it? Don't throw all your eggs in one basket. What I'm trying to say is when I first started my balloon business, I did it as a side hustle. I didn't quit my job and go all in on a balloon business. That's not what I did. I started really small. And as we continue to grow and grow and grow, I realized that this has the potential to be my primary income source. Now, obviously with everything happening in the world, we could go into a lockdown tomorrow. And although we may be able to still do our deliveries, nothing's guaranteed. What I would recommend is start small, start doing weekend jobs and see how your growth looks. If you're starting to get crazy busy and you hate your full-time job or you're wanting to be able to invest more time and more money into this business, then maybe you can take it on as a full-time gig. Something else I wanted to mention is if you're coming into the balloon decorating, event decorating industry in your hometown and there's no other businesses doing it, so you think, yes, like, my time to shine, this is gonna be great. Be prepared for copycat businesses. When I first started, there was no one doing what we did, but very quickly businesses started to pop up or businesses that were doing other balloon stuff such as helium transformed a little bit and started doing similar things to what we were doing. Now, I learned a very long time ago when I started my lash business that is that businesses will pop up and they'll copy you and there's nothing you can do about it. And when I first started my lash business when I was 21, I remember getting so frustrated. I remember seeing, oh, actually one of the things that I did was I did a giveaway when I had my lash business. And literally I remember posting that and then probably two days later, I saw another three or four businesses doing giveaways. And I was like, no one was doing that before I did. Like literally none of them were doing giveaways before I did. Um, and that was frustrating, but over the years I've realized that like me being frustrated is me taking time away from my business and focusing on someone else's and that is so stupid. So now when I see a new business pop up and I'm not actively searching for these businesses, sometimes friends will send me screenshots or they'll pop up in my Facebook feed or I'll see them on Instagram, scroll on past. I could not care less about copycat businesses because a copycat business, if they're truly copying a lot of the stuff that we're doing, they're a step behind. They will never be a step ahead of me and I wanna focus on my business. I am so creative and when I'm focusing purely on my business, I know that it's gonna grow my business and if they wanna copy that, that's fine. If they want to... The funny thing that I find about copycat businesses is a lot of them sell themselves short. So as I said in pricing before, I found it really hard to price my work, but we've found this perfect medium pricing that we're doing where we're profitable enough, but we're also a reasonable price, definitely in comparison to like most major cities, to the point where some people from major cities will pay us a lot of money for delivery because we're still cheaper than those places there and it's still profitable for us. But the thing that annoys me about copycat businesses, it doesn't annoy me, it's just kind of like, why do you do that? is that they 
sell themselves short. If they were smart in business, they would match the pricing that we do because that creates a market that's level, right? What they do is they sell themselves short and they do a lot cheaper pricing. But then at the same time, it kind of shows in their work. Anyway, let's get past the whole copycat thing. I just want to finish by saying I absolutely love my balloon event decorating business. It allows me to pick and choose my hours. It allows me to manage the whole business. And that's, I don't know, I love being the boss. I like being able to pick absolutely every part of this business and what, what I want it to be. Um, there are obviously pros and cons to owning a business and I did discuss that in my balloon business pros and cons video which I will link below and you can go and watch this after this video um, but yeah if you're seriously thinking about getting into the balloon event decorating business I would recommend checking out my other videos just so you can get a sort of grip around like what it's actually like I've also shared a couple of vlogs on a week in my life and a lot of that focuses around the balloon business and I plan on bringing a lot more of them out. If you do have any questions, make sure to leave it in the comments below and I hope to see you in the next video.